Your rectifier ensures that current flows in only one direction, even when the source voltage would normally produce current that flows in both the positive and negative direction. The most basic rectification circuit is simply a diode. Diodes are simple and effective rectifiers, and they are widely used for this purpose. However, in some applications the diode's voltage drop can be problematic. In this video we'll discuss the active rectifier, which can rectify signals without generating a significant amplitude difference between the input voltage and the rectified output voltage. An active rectifier can be implemented with an operational amplifier and a diode connected to a load resistance. By using negative feedback and amplification, this circuit bypasses the voltage range in which the diode does not conduct current. The active rectifier functions as a voltage follower even when the input voltage is much lower than the diode's threshold voltage. If the input voltage is below zero volts, the diode is an open circuit and the inverting input terminal is connected to ground through the load resistor. As soon as the input voltage goes above ground, there is a positive differential voltage between the two input terminals, and the op amp's high open loop gain results in a large output voltage. This output voltage causes the diode to start conducting current, and the circuit becomes a voltage follower. Consequently, the op amp will adjust its output voltage in whatever way is necessary to make the load voltage equal to the input voltage. The basic active rectifier has limited usefulness in real life circuits because it relies upon output saturation. When the input voltage is below zero volts, the diode is an open circuit and there is a negative differential between the op amp's input terminals, which results in the output being driven to the negative supply rail. This is generally undesirable and will reduce the circuit's ability to rectify high frequency signals. Output saturation is prevented with a simple modification. Notice that we now connect the input signal to the op amp's inverting input terminal. When the input signal is above zero volts, D1 is an open circuit and D2 conducts. A negative feedback path is established preventing saturation and the virtual short is active, but the output node is disconnected from the op amp's output terminal. Thus for positive input voltages, the output node is grounded through R2 and RL. For negative input voltages, D2 is an open circuit and D1 conducts. Under these circumstances, the circuit functions as an inverting amplifier with V out equal to V in multiplied by negative R2 over R1. So this improved active rectifier is actually an inverting rectifier. For more details, check out the link in the description or visit allaboutcircuits.com.